And so this is going to be another haul. <laughs> and uh, um, the thing is, because it's December, like I've been trying not to buy for myself um, because, you know, it's December, you buy Christmas presents and I've been buying loads of Christmas presents. So I, what am I even saying? I've tried not to buy for myself. So, um, but you know what it's like when you go out and you're like, oh, and you see things and you know but yeah so most of the things I bought this month um have been for my family and loved ones but um I had to pick up some things <laughs> that I saw and because it's Christmas time like there's a few Christmassy things I wanted to get as well I'm going to start off with some makeup bits um that I've got recently I bought another MAC Pro Longwear because it's my favourite MAC foundation. Um, I do want to try the Studio Sculpt again but this is at the moment like my favourite foundation. I love the finish of it and it's not too matte because I don't like it when it makes your face too matte and um, yeah so I bought another one of those at MAC and I, I got it in NC40 this time because I just feel like I need a bit more colour in my face because it's winter and, and it's not really it's not that much darker than NC37, so um, yeah, I love that. I've always wanted something from Laura Mercier, and I've always heard about, you know here on YouTube, I heard about the tinted moisturiser, I was like, but it's winter, I don't think it's the right time to get a tinted moisturiser because I need more coverage than that, so. Um, and then I ran out, I've, I'm running out of my Sephora mineral powder, so for now I wanted to get another mineral powder that I thought might be just as good. And I know Laura Mercier is really a really good brand, if that makes sense. Um, so I got the mineral uh, powder, mineral pressed powder. It's got SPF 15. Um, I'm I I know SPF is good for your skin, but then I don't like it because of the white cast it can give off. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a try. I'm wearing it today, and it's quite. It looks nice. Um, it looks like this, and then you get your, you know, thingy <laughs> sponge. That was about. It was really expensive for a powder. It was about 30 something pounds, 32, 35 pounds, something like that. Um, oh, he gave me the wrong color. Like this guy matched me up and he gave me the wrong color. Um, so, oh, sorry, it's in um, natural beige. I'm a bit jittery today with my filming. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, it's in natural beige because the other color he gave me, it made my face look like pink and red. It was really weird. Like if you follow me on Twitter, I moaned about it. And um, I had to go all the way to Flipping Westfield to get another one because they don't have one near me, a Laura Mercier. Anyway, um, I got an Eco Tools brush. I was watching Lexi from So Totally Vlog, and I was watching one of her videos uh, recently, and I was like, that brush looks so fluffy. <laughs> like, it looks really nice and soft. So I was like, ooh, because I've always been interested in, in the Eco Tools brushes, but I never pick them up. I don't know why. Um, but it's, oh my god, go and get it. <laughs> it's 9 99 um, I got it in Boots, and it's so soft. This is the bronzing one. Um, I have to get used to the massive handle, but um, now I want to try and get the Kabuki one because that looks nice as well. Um, so yeah, uh, equal tools, equal tools, <laughs> eco tools brush. Lighting is going weird and yellow. Next, I got. Um, I've been searching for this for so long. A uh, Corez um, lip butter, and I heard that they um, sell them in Waitrose, but I never found one in Waitrose. There's one in my town near me, but they don't have these. And I got it in Wild Rose, so it looks like that, and it gives a really nice little tint, <laughs> little tint, a really nice tint to the lips. But it does remind me of my Model Zone one that I'm always banging on about. So. Actually, that's not that much cheaper. This is £6, and the Model Zone one, I think, is £5. So, either way, this is probably better for your lips because it's um, it's just a good brand, and they've got all natural um, products that they use and all that jazz. And then, I was in MAC. Um, <laughs> I never... I'm one for, like, the collections. I'm always like, meh, they're all right. Like, I'm not bothered, um, it, unless a really amazing one comes out, and I used to be really gutted that I missed the Hello Kitty one. Anyway, the Gareth Pugh one... If I, I hope I said that right, at the moment in MAC, um, I saw the bits and bobs on the, in the collection and I saw these nail varnishes and I was like, what is that? It looks amazing. Like, it's really big and just like heavy and it feels like it's really valuable, I don't know why. But anyway, it's just a nail varnish and it looks like that, if you can see that. And I was wearing this in my recent videos, I think my last two videos and people, some people asked what it was. Um, it's in Hyper and it's a frost finish but I don't think it, it's just normal like nail varnish it doesn't really matter that it's frost I'm so rambly in this video um yeah but it comes out more of a blue than a purple so I was hoping for it to be like duochrome if that's the right word like in different lights it will look both but to be honest it mainly looks blue and you probably get a similar one so I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this but if you like the collections go for it but um I got that I think that was like 16 pounds 
£16 for a nail varnish. But I just love the bottle. I'm really into dresses at the moment. I got this one that I'm wearing. Um, I can't really show it actually. It's from H&M. The Americans always mention that I say H&M instead of H&M. Maybe you guys in the US say that. We say H&M. It's English. I don't know how else to say it. We just say H&M. Um, it looks like this. I don't know if I've shown this before, but um, I think it's really cute. I mean, I'll... Ugh. I'm not uh, totally done with my outfit today, so I'm going to belt it and wear like a cardio for it. But um, this is what it looks like from H&M and it was only about £8, something like that. I think it, it no more than £10. If you watched my graduation vlog, which is on my second channel, you would have seen this dress. I got this from Topshop um, in Westfield. And th this is one of those dresses that they're like um, must-have, like one of their must-have products, but the black one of this, I think. Um, I got it in... Um, this weird colour, I feel like it's like a granny colour. <laughs> it's a really weird colour, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a beige, basically, with a, the smallest tint of, like, purple in. Um, and it has these, like, gold glittery dots on it. It's really, really nice. I wish I could have this dress in all the different colours. I can't remember how much it was now. It was 30-something or... I think it was 30-something pounds or 20-something pounds. Um, but I think it's worth it. It's a really nice Christmassy, festive kind of dress. I also got this dress, which um, I've already showed in a in a video. <laughs> um, it's one of those dresses that are very popular at the moment in Topshop. I got it in the red colour. It's velvet. Um, and again, I can't remember how. I think it was £20. Um, yeah. And I really like the blue one as well of this. I like all of them. I've also got the red one that's just like jersey material. Um, and I think that was about 20 as well. But I think they're re they're really good for layering and they're just really nice dresses. Um, I'll carry on with clothing items that I've got recently. Because um, this hall is full of loads of random bits and bobs. Um, I got this um, shirt, which I haven't worn yet, from H&M. Because um, I really, really wanted a white shirt that I could wear that has a collar. And it's long enough to show under jumpers. Um, or sweaters. Because um, a lot of my jumpers are, are quite long because that's what I like. That's the style that I like of jumpers. So then my shirts aren't long enough anyway. So I got this one, which is like a sheer material uh, from H&M. Um, long sleeve, collar, and it's really long. Um, I could only find it in a size 12. They didn't have size 10, but it was 14 99 which I think is quite good for a, a lovely sheer shirt. And this you can wear all year round and just layer it. So um, I'm really excited to wear that with a jumper. And then... Um, I was sent some items from herej.com and I don't want to, I don't usually like talking about, you know, I got sent this and that because people think that like, you're going to lie about products basically and stuff, what? basically and stuff. Um, they're an online um, clothing company, they do a lot of like, some of their pieces, and I'm not so keen on, but a lot of their pieces are really on trend and just really nice and they have this kind of grey and peach different collections so I think it's like the grey is the more smart a bit more smart and peach is more casual I think or like young and um but I just like look at all of it all together and then choose bits that I like anyway um so they sent me a few bits and uh one of the things Danny has my sister I let her wear it yesterday when we went shopping and she's got it so it's like a furry um it's like a cardigan and it's black and like furry looking but I'll try to show you in a video because I don't have it, but this jumper you would have seen in my um, How I Style Knee High Socks. It's a chunky knit v-neck, um, longer at the back than the front, long sleeves, and um, I love it. It's so nice, but I've got it in medium to large, and I'm a 10 slash 12, depending on what shop I'm in, and it's really big, so if you're like um, a 10 or lower, size 10 or lower, I'd get the small even 12. 12 or lower, I'd get small to medium maybe because it's massive. <laughs> also, I got this, it's like a slouchy blazer kind of thing. It's really nice. Um, from here, Jay, this is what their like label looks like. No, it doesn't. That says Lush. <laughs> um, but it's from here, Jay. And it's this kind of colour, like a mustardy kind of nude colour. Um, it looks like this, if you can see that properly. I'll try and, I'll try it on for you, I think, so you can see. Um, it has these sleeves that are like three quarter length. And um, it's just really like, it drapes really nicely and it's really flattering. So if you're like slightly bigger size, this is really, oh, one of my lips. This is really flattering and I think it's really, really nice. And I'll show it on for you so you can see. Also got, which if you go on my blog, I posted an outfit uh, 
wearing this skirt. This is what their bag looks like. Here, yeah, Jay. Um, okay, and it's this skirt, which I, I've seen one similar in Topshop, um, but it was... I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't want to pick it up for some reason. Um, again, this is medium, and this is really... This is too big for me. Look how wide that is. <laughs> but I try and make it work and just belt it. But um, I'd get a small if I was like... 12 or lower size anyway it's this black skirt and it's this material like chiffon kind of and it drapes and it's lower lower at the back than it is at the front again great for layering with in winter and you can wear it in summer as well that's everything from here jay and then um i got this jumper from topshop because <laughs> i was in a really bad mood that day it was the day that i got the dress for my graduation and um so I bought myself a jumper because I really wanted a black jumper just to cheer myself up. Um, I think it was £38. Um, it looks like this. It's just a, again, I think it's like a fisherman knit, is it? Or something like that. Um, black jumper, long sleeves, and it's really cosy and really comfortable. Their jumpers are really expensive in there, but I think it's worth it because it's really nice. I really, really like it. Like, I'm going to wear it all the time. <laughs> I do wear it all the time. Um, and that's it for clothes, uh, I think. So now I'm going to show you some bits of jewellery that I got recently. Um, okay, this is like a really naughty purchase, but I've been wanting it for so long. And um, it was at first on my Christmas, Christmas? Christmas wish list. And then I was like, I just treated myself and it's really bad, but it's so good. <laughs> I got the Michael Kors watch uh well one of the michael causes why am i showing it like that um one of the michael Kors watches and this is my favorite one i really like the rose gold as well but this is like i love it it's so amazing like, i've been wearing it every day since i got it um i don't know the name if i find out the name of it i'll put it down below for you because i'm not sure it's just the gold one basically um and yeah it looks like that me um i also got this ring from um camden camden market it's like one you know like you know the eye ring from top shot that everyone has but i i wanted to get one of that everyone didn't have but so i got the one in camden and um i think that was 16 pounds but it's real silver i've gone crazy on top shop jewelry this month oh i hate jewelry look Oh. got this um necklace from Topshop which was in the sale for three pounds um because I love spikes and I think it's really cool so I got that for three pounds Topshop sale have it then um I got these two necklaces when I was with the girls in uh Westfield one day it was quite a while ago now um I got these I love I love cross you know I love crosses and um cross look at all the crosses on this it's just made out of crosses it's amazing um, and you can like um, wear it shorter by, you know, doubling it up, or you can wear it long. And then, so I, I, I couldn't decide what colour I wanted it in, you know, what metal. And um, so I got it in silver and gold, and then I actually wore them together yesterday. Like I layered them, and I think that looks cool as well. While we're still on Topshop, I went to Topshop yesterday, um, and yeah, I got... I got this belt, oh my god, okay, I was looking for this belt, I've been looking for this belt for so long, I saw it once in the Oxford Street top shop, they only had size small, and then I was like, ugh, because I'm not size small, um, they didn't have any, any other sizes, so every time I've gone to that same top shop, I've looked for it, they don't have it, so I gave up, and then like, yesterday, I was in the Westfield one, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, that is mine, it's this belt, which is like, leather, oh, is it real leather? I don't know. Le it feels like real leather, I don't know. Leather with um, these gold stars on it. Isn't it so... I just think it's really good for this time of year as well. So I got it in a size large because that's all they had. It seems to be quite popular because there's only ever one left. Um, it was £30, which is a lot for a belt, but then I've been looking for it for so long and I know I'll wear it all the time. And if it's real leather... Yeah, I'm not sure. But it's heavy as well. It just feels like it's worth it. Um, so I love that and... I don't know, I might wear that today, who knows. Then I got, because I love Topshop nail varnishes, I always like hover at their makeup section, but I don't get anything, like I just don't know. I don't like, I don't love all of their makeup, but I, I love nail varnish. So I got this one, um, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. Looks like that. Sorry about my phone. And it's called Crystal Clouds, very similar to Moonshine, which I also love. It's just a bit more gold. So if you have Moonshine, 
I wouldn't recommend running to get this because it's very very similar but it's such a nice Christmas colour and I think it is really looks really nice on my kind of skin tone because I think gold kind of look, makes my skin look dull I don't know why when I when I wear it anyway so that was five pounds I think Fiber. Candles before I go. Oh my god. Sorry this video is so so long, but I love Christmas so I've been going a bit mad. Um Yankee candles, I love. Um yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what one to get. I was looking on Oxford Street for Yankee candles, couldn't find any. I know Clinton Cards sells them, but they only had like two. And Christmas tree was horrible, don't get that. And uh, <laughs> and then I found I smelt this one and I was like, mm. oh my god. It's Christmas cookie. And I've heard a few people have this on YouTube, and I was like, everyone has the same like taste in candle. It just smells really nice, so we all like like the same smells. It smells really sweet. It's just lovely. It's like vanilla and sweet, but it's not too sweet. And if you like sweet scents, you'll like it anyway. Um, it's fifteen pounds for this size. There's a size bigger than this. I'm a bit stingy of candles. I like I don't like spending a lot on them, but I think if it does smell really good and it's going to last, then it's worth it. Um, and then I was in House of Fraser. I think. And I picked up this one because I wanted another one. They didn't have the bigger sides of it. Couldn't decide what one to get. So I got cherries on snow in the little one. Wouldn't recommend it. I love cherry. I love the cherry smell and I think I want to get black cherry, the other candle they do. And it's nice, but it, the cherry smells nice, but then it has another smell that's a bit weird and I don't like it. But I'm not going to waste it, so I burn it anyway. So yeah, I love, love Yankee candles. And they make you feel all Christmassy and festive. And I want to get the other Christmassy ones that they do. Okay, so that's my haul. I hope you liked it. Sorry, for, sorry it was so long. And um, I hope you're all having a good... I can't talk. I hope you're all having a nice Christmas time. I'm really excited for Christmas and um, I want to do more Christmassy videos. Tell me if you want me to do Christmassy videos because I am going to do them and I'm probably going to film one now because I'm really in the mood to film. Anyway, so I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful or something and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.